So if it is so difficult to be critical, then why be critical? To save money on things that don't work. To avoid being disappointed when wishes don't come true. To invest time and money into things that do work. To get closer to the truth with a capital T, and we could have a whole philosophical discussion about this. But I do believe that there is a reality out there that we can get to know with our senses uh, and using empiricism. To, to live in this real world, to understand its consequences. Because then you are living in the real world. You may choose to live in a fantasy world, but sooner or later that real world is going to come up and bite you in the ass. And uh, critical thinking is also difficult because biologically um, we have a lot of barriers to critical thinking. Quite a few of them, actually. Here are a few of them. Wishful thinking. I don't want to die. There must be something after death. Gut reactions. He used to be a man. Now he's a woman. That's not right. Logical fallacies, errors in your logic, such as the argument from authority. Well, this guy has a PhD. What he says must be true. Poor, odd estimation. People are laughing a little too hard at this. Poor, <laughs> odd estimation. We are terrible at estimating odds. There was a survey of British members of parliament. Uh, they were asked, what are the odds of getting two heads uh, while flipping a coin? The answer is 25%. It's half times half. Only 40% of those polled MPs got that right. We are terrible at estimating odds, and we have a notoriously unreliable memory. Studies have shown that sometimes simply imagining an event is sufficient to create the memory of this event. So we have to battle all of these things.